Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. And yes, your girl is back to black hair. Oh guys, I miss my black hair so much. Like, just going back to my roots. Shout out to Troy Hair who did my hair. I'll tag him below if you guys want to check him out. But he's so good at colour. He's the one that did my literally black to blonde um and now he put me back it's so weird he went from black he had to go from um blonde to red so i had like bright red hair and then from red you can then go to black because otherwise if you put black dye on bleached blonde hair it goes green i think so anyways he's just an expert and he's so good at what he does so shout out to him today we're going to be doing an exciting video we're going to be trying some new makeup that's all under 10 pounds or 10 10 pounds or under basically um i'm so excited for this video i've got a bunch of stuff that i haven't tried yeah just all it's all new i think i've got a couple of items which i didn't buy like maybe the eyeliner and a, a, con a cream contour because i've been obsessed with cream contour so most of these items i'm going to be using in this video have been bought online and i just wanted to share with you the shopping app that i use to keep on top of my shopping game which is shoptega if you've watched my previous videos you will know that i love this app and just use it every time i'm online shopping the app allows me to save different items into my shoptega wish list that i've created so i have like bronzers i have um, I also did one for Black Friday last year. You can create any category that you want and it's just so organised. And overall, the app just helps you to save money and who does not want to save money? So yeah, if you do want to stay on top of your online shopping game, all you have to do is download the Shoptaker button into your browser or you can download the Shoptaker mobile app and then you can start browsing your favourite online stores. You can save your favourite items that you want to keep an eye on onto your Shoptaker account into your different Shoptaker wishlist that you have created. Um, and also choose if you want to receive mobile push notifications on an item in case it goes on sale or if it comes back in stock if it wasn't in stock at the time you saved it. So I always get an email when an item has gone on sale um, that I've saved or if something was out of stock it will just notify me straight away if it comes back in stock and I'm literally buying it straight away. <laughs> My most favourite and used part of the app is when you go into your checkout the shop take a button will pop out with some discount codes that it has found on the internet and will run through all these coupon codes for you to see if any of them um, can apply to your basket. I cannot tell you guys how many times I've saved money this way. Normally I would just go search vouchers on Google for like the specific website I'm shopping on but the Shoptaker app just does it for you and searches um, for as many um, coupon codes it can for you and just run them through it's just the best thing ever. The app really, really, really helps you to save some money, whether that's an item going on to sale, so you can save some coin there, or it can save you some money by searching some coupon codes for you. And yeah, I'm so excited guys, because we're gonna be doing a thousand dollar giveaway with Shoptaker. All you have to do is download the Shoptaker mobile app and also download the Shoptaker button onto your Google Chrome browser on your computer if you haven't done so already. Save at least one item that I've used in this video to your Shoptaker um, dashboard account. And literally that's all you have to do. Make sure to do these steps before March 30th and the winner will be contacted directly by Shoptaker um, on March 31st. So good luck guys, this is a huge giveaway. Don't miss out on this one. and. And yeah, the first thing I'm going to be using is the Glossier Mint Balm.com and I'm just going to apply some of this on my lips. It's super hydrating. The next thing I'm going to be using is the Embryo Lease Philodem Emulsion. This is for um, dry skin. I got the mini, so it was like £10, I think. Um, and I'm just going to use this to moisturise. I tried this on the back of my hand and it's so hydrating. I might have to get the full size. I think the full size is like £23. You guys know I love the original like Lay Concentrate. Look at that. It's so like hydrating. I feel like it's perfect for my um, skin type. Next up I'm going to be trying the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I've heard good things um, about this from other bloggers. So we're just going to apply this. I haven't bought any Ordinary products um, recently so I'm excited to try this. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. It's very, it feels very silicone-y. Does it have silicone in it? I think the silicone-y ingredient is dimethicone it, and it's in there. Yeah, it feels very like, I don't like that. 
I mean, my skin feels really soft now, and like it definitely has like smoothed out my pores a little bit, I can tell, but I just don't like this feeling. I feel like this is such a pore, like clogging kind of feel. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this next product. I used to use this all the time. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in the shade Tan. Back in my older videos, I used to use this all the time, especially when I go to uni, I would always wear this. So I'm just gonna put this all over. So I remember this being a very dewy foundation. I'm just gonna use my EX1 um, sponge. I don't know if it's under 10 pounds, but I don't think my brushes or my tools will be under 10 pounds, but just ignore that. I don't like to put too much foundation on my forehead because I just don't need it there. I think I've got some scarring on my cheeks so I do like to put a bit more there but and around my mouth but everywhere else I don't really need much. It actually covered my scarring really well here. Next I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade Natural Sand. I can't open this. Like, why is it bulletproof? I've got it open guys. Finally. Don't know if this is gonna be too dark, but let's see. Yeah, it is. Is it's actually got really nice coverage, but it's too dark. I'm actually gonna go in with the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer in the shade beige. This blended it really nicely, like when I first used it. So I'm just gonna put this on top just for a little bit of like highlight. That's more like it. I'm actually gonna go with the same concealer but in the shade Cappuccino um, and just blend this. And I'm just gonna apply it like so. gonna blend this out just look how like effortlessly it blends like this concealer is blob blob <laughs> this concealer's bomb So I'm just going to set my base with my Barry M powder, which is um, 5 dollars It's literally a bargain. I love this powder. I love how like there's just shadow on the perimeter. Like I love this look. Um, next, I'm going to be using some new products that I haven't like even heard of before. So hopefully it's good. It's by, I don't even know, Miss... Miss Lynn. I actually got the bronzer, which is Beach Please Bronzing and Contouring Powder. It's in the shade Aloha All Day. I'm just going to try this. So it is dark enough. So actually that's not bad, the shade is really, like, it's perfect, um, it blends really well. And next I'm using the Miss Lynn Treat Me Sweet Powder Blush in the shade Love You Peach and Every Day. Like a beautiful shimmery peach shade. I just feel like you can't go wrong with, like, a really nice peach blush. Now for highlight, I'm going to use the NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder 
This is in the shade Daytime Halo. So I really feel like this is kind of my like my highlighter where it just looks like a glow from within. This is not like an intense highlight or anything. It's very subtle and I just love that for every day. We're gonna finish you off with the NYX Radiant Finish Setting Spray. It's long lasting. We're now gonna move on to brows. I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. I can't find all my all I use for my brows is Hourglass and Benefit, which are clearly not drugstore. So I found this, um, which to be honest, I still do like, um, and I used to use it a lot before. Brows are done. I'm actually going to use some of this Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer on my lids just as a base. Right, next I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette, which is actually £7 um, and it's in the shade Warm Neutrals. I'm just going to use like this warm brown shade first, just above this in the crease. So I have used um, other palettes um, from NYX and what I like about their shadows is they're very very um, pigmented but still soft especially like their more natural kind of shades like they blend so effortlessly that underneath as well. I'm going to take this pale shade from the palette and press this onto the whole lid. I'm going to take the dark brown from the palette. So I'm going really soft on the eyes today so that I can wear like a really bright lip. Right, next I'm going to curl my lashes. Right, next we're going to pop on some lashes, which is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. You guys know I love uh, Maybelline mascaras, the Lash Sensational Mascara is my most favourite mascara ever which I cannot live without, I think I've gone through 50 tubes in my lifetime so far, um, so this one just came out, I'm really excited to try this one and I kind of like the brush on it as well, so let's see how this goes. Right, so far I can really feel like it's grabbing the, um, the my lashes because I hate it when I put mascara and it just like it just brushes through so easily. I want it to grip onto the lashes and apply the product on. It's combing through really well. It's giving length for sure. I mean, look at the difference. I don't even, I, I do have some lashes which I'm gonna be trying today, um, but that is amazing. That is going in my everyday thing. And I'll keep you guys updated if it does transfer. One thing I don't like is when it it transfers onto my concealer or it crumbles so I will keep you guys updated my lash sensational does not do that at all and um, another mascara that I've been loving is the Fenty Beauty full frontal mascara but it does kind of like transfer slightly some mascaras are like by the end of the day I look in the mirror and I'm like oh my god I had like black stuff under my eyes this whole time and no one told me this one so far it's really really good like I'm really pleased with that again in terms of where I'll keep you guys updated in the info box so then for lashes, I'm going to use the Doll Lashes in Jasmine. And I've only heard good things about these lashes. So let's see. I'm so excited to try these on. The first thing I do when I put lashes, like a new pair, I see if it will fit my eye. This one looks actually okay. I don't need to cut. Yeah, that one looks okay. So, and also I like that the band is not, like sometimes when you get new lashes, the band continues like empty I don't know how to explain but the band where the lash finishes you still have some band that sticks out and I always have to cut it with these ones it doesn't have that so okay so I'm just gonna put these on I 
Dang, those went on so easy, but let me fix this. Yeah, those are really nice lashes. I love like fluttery, fluffy looking lashes and these are just like it. Okay, whilst that's dry, I'm gonna move on to lips. For lipstick today, we're gonna go with the Bright Fuchsia Matte Lip. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in More Better. These are $7, but come to less in sterling. So, really excited to try this. You guys know, these are like really matte, like lipsticks. take this off all right guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to enter the giveaway good luck to all of you guys if you guys want more affordable makeup tutorials give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know some of the products that really stood out to me is the moisturizer um i actually really found my long lost love of this foundation i don't even know where my old one is um the concealers like the nyx born to glow concealers i did do an instagram video on them Make sure to follow me on Instagram, but these are bomb, like, amazing. I was actually really surprised by the bronzer and the blush. And the high glass highlighter is just so me. Like, I think I'm going to be using this every day. Love the mascara. <sighs> and these lashes are bomb. But anyways, everything I used in this video, except for the primer, which I wasn't too fond of, it's not doing much for me. I love the soft eyes. These are, like, perfect for every day. And lips, I've got lipstick all over my fingers. I'm gonna head off, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.